Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs and for this video, I'm going to be reviewing that chair that I got the other day. So this chair is the new Vertigear PL6000, which is basically the biggest chair they make. It's the fanciest one they have and it's pretty awesome. I asked for this one specifically because I'm a very large person. You guys know I'm I'm about 6'5 and I weigh between 220 and 200 and some more pounds. You know, something like that right around there. I don't know offhand. Uh, so I need a bigger chair, generally speaking. I don't fit nicely in normal size chairs. So I asked for this one. They sent this one. Now I can use it for all my videos. And now I can review it for you guys because I know a lot of you guys play a lot of video games or maybe have office chair needs. So this isn't just like a... a a plushy promo type video. I'm actually going to review the chair so you know what it's like. Because I really do recommend it. You guys know I don't promote things I don't recommend. And I thought I would when I asked for it. And they happened to say okay that they would send it. And it turns out that it is as good as I thought it would be. So now I'm going to be doing the video so you guys can see it. So this chair, it's oversized. It's very large. It's actually maybe even too wide for me as far as the armrests go, even though they're adjustable, but it's definitely going to accommodate large people. It's got like a 440 pound weight capacity, something like that. It's, it's, it's massive. And I'm, I'm going to overlay the specs so you guys can see things like that because I don't have every number memorized, but it's really good. And it's got all kinds of features. So before we get into the technical features, I'll just run down what the chair is. So it has a steel frame. It has high density, resilient foam, which probably doesn't mean much technically speaking, but the, the foam is really dense. It's not that real squishy foam that you'll find on most office chairs. It's, it's actually really, really sturdy. It feels like a racing chair, so I, I like that a whole bunch about it. Uh, and then it has the PVC leather seating, which you'll find on most chairs like this. You're not going to find many true leather office chairs unless you're spending a fortune on it, uh, but that's fine. And it's also perforated. Most of the panels in the middle and on the seat, on the back and on the seat, they're perforated so that there's air moving back and forth. It's not going to make you real sweaty or anything like that, so that's a good thing. And the panels do also have, they kind of like, they go back and forth between the, the standard panels and then the, the perforated panels. And this one is the carbon version, so it's all black with the carbon panels. So it looks like carbon fiber, so that's woven in there throughout. So it's really cool, and you can get different colors also if you want to. This just happens to be the black with the carbon fiber. So anywhere you see carbon fiber, you can get a color insert instead. So that's just up to you, which whenever, whichever one you want to order. Uh, it has also an aluminum uh, base, which is really nice. It's it's um, reinforced, so it's extra strong. Uh, this is the newest version. This is the Rev 2. Uh, it, it's not going to break. It's. <laughs> I looked at this thing. I'm like, oh my goodness. It's extremely uh, reinforced. It's got a, a large rib going down the middle of each leg and then little tiny ribs connecting it. And it's a big, you know, it's a real solid leg. So it's nice. And then it has the fancy wheels on them that are like five-spoke racing wheels. That's really cool, and they're, they're large, too, so you don't have to really worry about pushing it through carpet. In fact, I've been rolling it around on carpet. That happens to be where I use it. No problem at all. It, you might want to put a mat down to protect the carpet, but the wheels are nice and large, so that's a good thing. This one is, like I said, the biggest one, so it, it has the largest seat, and you can see all the measurements right there. I'll put it on up on the screen so you can see that, but it's got tons of room. I've got long legs and it doesn't have no problem at all. It doesn't have any issues hitting like in the back of my thigh. So if, unless your legs are like freakishly long, it's going to fit you nicely. Uh, I guess if they're freakishly short, you should probably get a different chair even if you're a large person. But uh, this one should work if you're anywhere near my size, you should be good. Uh, so now it does have a lot of features. It does come with a headrest with an elastic strap so you can just add it onto the top of the chair. It also has a lumbar support pad which you can add to the middle part where your lumbar goes. So that's up to you. I don't personally like using either of them. I don't, I like the way the chair fits normally for the lumbar. And then for the head thing, I mean, I'll put it on occasionally, but I generally don't lean all the way back because I'm using it to play video games or do videos or something. So even when I have the back of it all the way forward, I don't really need the headrest, but it comes with it and it's included and they're very nice. They're high quality. So that's a good thing. Uh, the chair does have a ton of features in terms of movement. You can tilt the back independently from, from the base, and it'll go all, like pretty far forward, and then basically almost all the way back, almost completely flat. So tons of range there, and obviously that little lever will just lock it in place. 
and then you can move the entire chair. It'll rock back and forth. Or, well, not forward. You can't really rock forward unless you've already gone back, but you can rock the whole chair back pretty far, and then you can actually lock it. It has different intervals on a different lever that let you lock the overall position of the chair if you want to do that, and it's very stable. I leaned all the way back in it, and like I said, I'm tall, so I have a high center of gravity. No problem at all. So the base is nice and wide, and the, the balancing is really good. So no worries there. So you can move the base however you want to. You can move the top however you want to. You can actually uh, spin the one crank on the side to adjust the tension of the spring, which has the whole chair on it. So if you only want it to lean back, if you push hard, you can do that. If you want it to just flop you back as soon as you sit down, you can do that within reason. I wouldn't recommend that, though. That'd be a bad idea. So there's all kinds of options. And of course you can go up and down as a standard chair does. It's got a nice piston in it, so no problems there. And there's more. The arms are adjustable. So you can move the tops of the arms up and down. You can adjust the height. There's a button for that. You can move the arms forward and back. There's another button for that. You can move them in and out. Now here's the thing. It's only the top part, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. I think that's fine as long as you're within the right size for the chair, it's gonna be fine. You can just adjust it for comfort level and that's fine. If you need to adjust it more, you can go underneath and uh, it does have some uh, hex Allen wrench. I don't know how much you guys know technical a lot. There's some screws at the bottom, let's just put it that way. Uh, you can move them, you can loosen it up and move the arms a little bit that way too if you need to. I don't, I don't really recommend that because you probably won't need to if you get the right size chair, but you can. And then the arms also have different positions. You can angle them, so you can angle them in towards your center. You can angle them away or leave them neutral. So tons of positioning for the arms, tons of options for the actual seat. I don't, I've never seen an office slash gaming chair with this many options. I think this is a, uh, it's a pretty fantastic chair. I'm, I'm very impressed with it. Yes, it's very expensive. But if you're looking at chairs, if you know about chairs, if you're trying to buy a good one, you know that you have to pay for a good chair, and this one is well worth what you're paying for it. Like I said, it is their fanciest, nicest one, but it's worth it. It's a really, really good chair. I have to, I have to recommend it. I love it. It's super comfortable. The first night I had it, I leaned back and I had it, I adjusted the base a little bit back, and then I adjusted the back just a little bit back so I wasn't super far back, and I played video games for like six or seven hours straight in it, and no problems. My butt didn't hurt at all. It's surprisingly ergonomically comfortable. It looks like it's kind of square and not really ergonomic. It is. The way the cushions are put in there, it's very, very comfortable. So if you, even if you don't want to get this one, if you want to get one of the smaller ones, if you're not a big guy, uh, I imagine they're going to be at least similar quality. So I would say definitely check it out. So I'll put a link in the description below. It's Vertagear, V-E-R-T-A-G-E-A-R, if you're not familiar with them. Uh, very pleased with the chair. I liked it a whole bunch. So I think you guys should at least check it out if you're in the market for a chair. Uh, I like it. So that'll do it. That'll do it for the review. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I have new videos up every single day, sometimes more than one a day, sometimes a whole bunch. Not too often, though, because it takes time to make them. Anyway, come back for all that good stuff. We talk about video games, movies, TV shows, plenty of things. So come back for that, and in the meantime, keep collecting.